You arrive on scene of the unknown medical. As you walk through the door, by surprise, someone grabs you by the forearm. We're going to show you how to escape this potentially violent encounter. I'm Kip Tsort, and welcome to Escaping Violent Encounters. So you're on a scene, possibly the ever popular unknown medical or the man down, and as you're dealing with this person in the first few moments, without uh, warning and by surprise, they reach out and grab you across the body. So this would be, for instance, maybe their right to your right or their left to your left. In this type of a situation, unlike anybody else on the planet, healthcare providers have to understand and recognize am I dealing with a patient or an aggressor. Therefore, we have to have reasonable escape moves for these type of encounters because obviously to treat a patient like an aggressor or an aggressor like a patient, either one of those has dire consequences. So let's take a look step by step on how we would do the cross grab wrist escape. So this would be, for instance, maybe their right to your right or their left to your left. What will happen then is nobody's going to leave it out there just statically and just hold you at a distance. They're probably pulling you in. So let's train for that. As your partner reaches forward and grabs your right arm, go with it. Step forward in that angle in the same direction you're being pulled because no one's going to leave it out there statically. This gets your elbow pinned to your body again, allowing you to use body weight, not strength. Now, as you begin to pivot your body in a circle in behind your partner, raise your hand toward the sky, keeping that hand rigid. As you make the circle, take your opposite hand, which in this case is your left hand, with your thumb up and place it behind their elbow. This is going to place their arm in an awkward position, making it difficult for them to maintain the grip. If the person is very flexible, they may still be able to have their wrist wrapped around, and this is where you would just simply use a push-pull method. And as you pull to your sternum with your right, you're going to push with your left. It's very difficult for that person to maintain a grip with their arm in such an awkward position. The reason we're having to choose this type of an escape move is again, we're dealing with the possibility of a patient or the possibility of an aggressor. No one else has to make that critical thinking decision in a moment's time when using force. Police officers don't have to, a woman leaving a big box store doesn't have to, you even in a, a drinking establishment wouldn't have to make that type of a decision if you were grabbed like we do. So the cross grab is a reasonable escape, one that could be used for a, an aggressor or a confused patient. Because in that moment, we don't have to be right versus wrong, we have to be reasonable. And so a simple escape move to be used on the job if you were grabbed by surprise buys you that moment in time to make a critical, reasonable decision. I'm Kip Tsort, and remember, your safety comes first.